What's up, everybody? My name is Dash. This is my YouTube channel, Dallas Slippin', where I, where I go around to garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores, uh, buy stuff on Craigslist, and I sell it on eBay for profit. Today is Saturday, April the 2nd of 2022, and this is my haul video. So first off, let me say, I'm very disappointed at the garage sales today. It's only 73. Um, it rained last night, and I guess a lot of people canceled their garage sales. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I also hate when someone advertises they have something, so I get up, you know, at 5 in the morning, I take a shower, I get ready, I get breakfast, I went to the bank, got some extra cash, and I drove about 30 minutes to get some video games. And I get there, and they're setting up. They said be there at 7, I was there at 7, actually I was there at 7.15. And I said, what about the video games, are they here? Oh no, we don't have any video games. The, the, the ad said you had video games. Well, we don't. Well, thanks for wasting my time. Eh. It ain't gonna ruin my day. I got some cool stuff to show you. So, um, one little garage sale. I picked up these VHS tapes. 25 cents a piece. Um, The Invisible Man and Ocean's Eleven. The Invisible Man has a little bit of imperfections here on the side. But they're both... Uh, this one's about 20 bucks VHS tape. It's the Rat Pack or something like that. 1960. 1988 reissue, but still... This is originally 1933. Uh, cool little pickups. I like selling VHS tapes. Too bad they're not sealed. They would go for a lot of money, but 15 even $12 is good for a 20, 25 cent pickup. Um, let's see. I went to Goodwill, and I hate Goodwill. I think Goodwill is crap. I was so I was so early, like on time, and I had nothing to do with it. I'm gonna go to Goodwill. Well, lo and freaking behold, I found some video games at Goodwill. And the first thing I wanna show you is this. It's really cool. It's sealed in the box. It's Norman Rockwell Saturday Evening Post and it, I guess they're about to have dinner. They're praying at a diner or something. And they're really cool. Uh, it's a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. I don't like puzzles. It was two dollars and they sell online for twenty to twenty four and it's sealed. So no problem there. Easy to list. Easy to ship. Um, the video games, they had a lot. They had a lot of, they had a few good ones but they didn't have discs. So always check for the damage. Oh, I didn't check that one for damage. I honestly don't think this is gonna play. This scratch is super deep. Hmm. May may have to run that through the machine. Uh, Just Dance 2014 Kids. Uh, I forgot how much the games were. Three ninety nine a piece. It sells for. 15, 16 bucks. So uh, it wouldn't be a terrible pickup if it. Who the hell wants to dance to the Wiggles? I just. I, I don't know. I got Fable 3, Xbox 360. I did check the disc on that one. It's cool. It's complete with manual. Um, it was also $3.99. It'll sell for. Any, I don't remember. I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't profitable. I think it was like $10 plus shit. So probably 14, 15 bucks. And this one I got for myself. Looney Tunes, Center Stage, Volume 2. It is in good condition. I checked that. It's got 14 cartoons. And if you don't know, I love the Looney Tunes. Bugs Bunny is my role model. If I was ever to get a tattoo, it would probably be a Bugs Bunny. That's how much I love Bugs Bunny. That's all the video games. So if you don't care about anything else I had to show you, turn the video off now. Um, terrible day for video games. But I got some cool stuff. Um, now, there was no comps on these, not this brand anyways. It's the Glow in the Dark Superstars Mega Galaxy, over 200 Glow in the Dark stickers. Suggested retail, $24.99. I paid $2 for it. Uh, it is sealed, there's new in the box. I don't know if I want to keep it, if I want to sell it. But there's some little boy or girl or teddy bear out there that wants this. Um, I got these. They were $5 a piece. Sometimes I don't look at the price and just pay for them. It's Mugman from Cuphead, and my daughter really likes Cuphead, uh, the TV show, and the game. So I got that for her, and then I got this for her as well. It's an official Splatoon 2016 plush. Uh, it's, it's Inkling Boy. He is in Smash, if you play Smash, but an, an, originally they're from Splatoon. Uh, it's one of my favorite games. I've got almost 4,000 hours in the game. Um, it's really fun, so if you have a Nintendo Switch or Wii U, pick one up. But yeah, you can't go wrong. These dolls are like $25.99 brand new. So for $5, I 
my daughter's gonna get hours of enjoyment out of them. They're gonna be in her bed and in my bed. And yeah, all over the place. All right, uh, this was two dollars, and I got two. Oh, you idiots! They stapled the um, damn packaging into the tag. They're two creepers from Minecraft. This one is looks kind of like a dog toy. This one's a little bit more higher quality and detailed. Um, it was two dollars for both. This one sell, was selling for about twelve dollars. Um, that, I think that's including shipping. It was like nine plus ship. So let's say 12, 14 bucks. I don't know about this one. They are creepers. This one's kind of soft. You like throw them at something. Which one? Um, so let's say 10 bucks a piece, $20 and a $2 purchase. Cost is good. Very, very, very affordable. See what we got. See what we got. Ah, I did get a sealed VHS. Rhapsody in Blue, Center Stage, Story of Gerwin, George Gershwin. He's a composer. Um... 1945. Man, what a time to be alive. Uh, a reissue in 1991. It's as old as I am. But it's still sealed in the packaging. Uh, I don't remember what the comps were, but I know I picked it up for a dollar, maybe two dollars. And another... Uh, oh, there's stuff in the back of the car. I just forgot. Let me go get that. Alright, sorry about that. I totally forgot. Now I'm out of breath from running up the stairs. I don't know what I'm talking about. This VHS tape. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know. It was two bucks the buck. I don't remember. I'm going to profit on it. That's all that matters. I got this at Goodwill. I just want to say again, I hate Goodwill. Goodwill is trash. It's a book on the treasure coins of the SS New York. I didn't know that's what it was. I don't know. I thought it was just a book about money and, um, whatever. Bullion. Because I got a bunch of old coins, silver coins. Yeah, it's cool. It smells good too. Uh, I don't know. I think it was a dollar ninety nine, maybe two ninety nine. Um, I didn't doesn't have a UPC code. I was gonna look it up, but let's see what's the title page thing? Two thousand eight. So I don't know. It was three dollars at half price of books. Don't mean I can't sell it for more. I'm gonna give it a once over. Um, this evening maybe tomorrow afternoon. And um, see if I have any coins that I have in here. And if not, well, I like coins. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Let's see what we got in this bag. There's another thrift store pickup. I got my receipt here. This was a dollar ninety nine. It is a. It's a little quirky. I guess the thing moved, or I moved. It's a talking safety alarm pedometer. You put it on your arm, and if something happens, you can pull it, and they won't hurt you or take advantage of you or rob you because you know thieves are very easily scared by Woo! um it sells for about 30 bucks i paid $1.99 for it why not now this is cool i kind of want to keep this for myself um let my kids play with it but it says suggested retail 50 dollars at cole so somebody bought this for somebody for christmas and they're like oh thanks grandma i don't know what the heck i want to do with this inflatable four foot tall bear it's cool though Oh, sorry, it's over four feet tall. It's over four feet tall. It is new, sealed in the packaging. It was $4.99, and um, I believe there was a couple on eBay for like 30 bucks. So if it doesn't sell by in middle of summer, May 4th of July, it's gonna get blown up and take outside and we're gonna kill it. Uh, let's see, I haven't even gone through this yet. Oh, okay, yeah, this was an interesting pickup. I forgot. I paid a dollar or two dollars. I don't remember how much it was. So my daughter really loves these Scribble Scrubby Pets. They're like toys made by Crayola. And you can get them at Walmart, Target, any place like that. You color on them, you wash them, and you color on them again. Uh, she has these two. She doesn't have this one. But they mold if you don't take care of them. So I'm going to like bleach them and then let her play with them. Because we love them and they do cost quite a bit. It's like $16 for two of them and some markers. So steal for two bucks um i got this because it's everest from paw patrol we never had everest when we were playing with paw patrol and i, I don't say we've outgrown it because i think a lot of kids still like paw patrol after they're like eight or i mean i like well they, their voices get on my nerves because they talk like canadians but um yeah everest is a sought after one uh, she's hard to find so if the kids don't want to play with it it's going on ebay she was a limited edition one and i know ne we never find it now this is something I know quite a bit about, not only because I met the Green Power Ranger a couple weeks ago at Comic-Con, 
but um, I was a little boy in the 1990s, and this is Tommy the Green Ranger from uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It is, however, a 2021 Hasbro toy. It says on his butt. Um, but new in packaging, they were about 15, 20 bucks. So I've got one out of packaging. So eight dollars, maybe free ship. It'll go out at a really, really cheap rate and um, make me about six bucks. So why not? Free money, baby. I'm gonna put those in this bag so they don't get lost. Now this, I didn't really look through this, but it's like a little toy purse thing. But there's all kind of. Oh, I hate the way that feels. I saw this. It's a zombie looking through a door from Minecraft, and I thought I sold those before for about ten dollars. Well, they're little mini things that you get out of a like the machines at Walmart or wherever. And here you go. Here's a guy in a minecart with the diamond helmet on. Um, oh, a Lego shark. That's sweet. I had some of those as a kid. This is dirt or sand or something. Is that a, was that a bra? Oh no, I don't want to touch it. You're an angel. That's gonna go in the trash. More Minecraft stuff. This is cool. It's like Minecraft. I don't know. It's something, is it a bracelet? I don't know what it is. Some erasers. A flip frog. A shamrock. Oh, Lord. That's giving me... Uh, what's it called? Not Tourette. Epilepsy. That's what it's giving me. Holly Pocket Clothes. That could be, it could be a good sign. Is that a cheeseburger? What the heck is this? It's a hat. It's a rabbit. It's a rabbit cheeseburger. Interesting. Aha! They're mine. They're zombie heads for Minecraft. That's cool. And bear in mind, I paid a dollar. Let's say a dollar two. Let's say two dollars for that. Well, this is a cool sword. It could be a necklace or a keychain. Um, let's say these are eight bucks a piece, and I've already got three of them. So that's eight, eight, whatever eight times three is. I, I don't know. I failed math. Here's a sheep in a minecart. But well, that's cool. Uh, oh, it's got a ball on it too, so it actually rolls. Very cool. This is a puppy in my pocket. Dreams 2017. I don't know. Liz, if you're watching, what is this? I'll probably send you a message later and ask you about it. Oh, cool. It's like, um... It's it's like a jack-o'-lantern's head on a, a, a skeleton with a bow. That's really cool. A uh, bunch of little Lego pieces. I'm gonna put those in the thing. Put in my... That thing is not stopping. There you go. Hit the button, genius. Some Shopkins. Oh, a Pokemon coin. Look at that. Pikachu. Not dated, but a bunch of squishy stuff. Oh, these are Shopkins. That's what it is. Okay. I'll just put those in my Shopkins. Oh, these little squishy things. Oh. Oh, it smells like Everclear. For you that don't know what Everclear is, it smells like nail polish remover. This is cool. It's a little pendant. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I might give some of this stuff away to some of the, the girls on Instagram that sell jewelry. It says Nurse Shark. No, no, no crap context. 2015 Safari. That might be a good brand. I know, I like sharks. I know a lot about sharks. Is it Dresser Shark? Black Shark? Black Tip? Black Tip Reef Shark, I suppose. Alligator. Oh, it's a cat. Or, it's a for real friend. No. I don't know. They, they changed so many times. It's, it's something. It's got a model number on it. I'll look it up. It's a giant plastic penny that's not even the right color. You know, we don't actually make a penny, it's a cent. The British make a penny. So how much I know about money and coins. Oh, uh, no more Minecraft figures? No, oh, there's a box, trinkets. It really does smell like Everclear, maybe rum. Shopkins, oh here you go, Minecraft, it's a villager. It's another couple bucks. Little Shopkins, oh look, a sheep! Ah, Minecraft sheep. Shop cans, shop cans. It's a flashlight head? That's weird. This is disturbing. It's a dog, a corgi, and a lobster costume that's also squishy. I don't know what goes to people's heads when they buy these things, let alone make these things. I couldn't tell you. So that's cool. That's great. Um, glad I shared that with you guys. Um, so those things I put aside here, I'm going to do something with. The rest of them I'm probably going to put in a garage sale box. Well, I'll take the Shopkins out. I have a Shopkins lot that I have for sale. So um, The last three things are very cool. And one of them I'm not going to sell. The other two I'm, I'm going to make some good money on. Um, so the first thing I want to show you here 
I went to, I go to a lot of, I call them Mexican garage sales. They're just like impromptu, and it's mostly clothes. If that's not a derogatory thing, lawyers, I'm not talking down about Mexicans, for God's sakes. Um, they're just, they're not really worth your time. They're mostly clothes, but I always go, I always stop, I always get out, and I always ask if they have video games or trading cards or toys or whatever you're into. I saw this. Super Mario. And if you're not, you know, I shouldn't say, you, if you're watching this far in the video, if you're watching the video, you know I love Mario, I love Nintendo, and so do my children. Um, and if they don't, they'll get disowned. I'm serious. I'll do it. I'll, I'll take them out to the woods. Let them be free with the animals. Anyways, that's that was that was that was a joke, lawyers. Please. Um, Super Mario and Luigi, of course. Green Mario is the best Mario. Take it to the bank. Um, it's a picture frame. It's like a poster inside of a frame. Uh, made in Coppell, Texas. Gross. But it, they wanted ten dollars for it. I said five, and the lady gave me this like. No. I was like, negotiate. She's like, how about eight? I said, I can do eight. She's like, okay. So I got it for eight bucks. It's going to go on the wall somewhere. Last two things. There was three garage sales right next to each other. Bam, bam, bam. Like next door, next door, next door. And the first thing I noticed, other than the fact that they had a bunch of clothes and a bunch of crap. Um, let me preface this by saying, I play guitar. I'm tooting my own horn here. I'm good at playing the guitar. I've played guitar for a while, and I know what to look for. And they had several guitars, and they were all crap. Like, ultimate, straight-up crap. But they had this. A Fender Strat Squire. I didn't even check. Ah, okay, it's crafted in China. So there's there's two different variants of this, the Strat Squire. Made in Indonesia and made in China. Made in Indonesia ones are cheaper, crapper quality. The ones in China are a lot better and better quality. They are made in Mexico and then in America. And the, the difference is the quality and the cost of parts, which determine the cost of the guitar. So, uh, as you can see, the strings have been cut and are coming off. There is no whammy bar. Um, the neck is in really good condition. It's just dusty. It's got all the um, tuners on the fretboard, uh, fretboard on the, the head up there. They're all in pretty good condition. But I noticed that the port and the pot have been pulled out and it looks like they've been severed. So um, I got the guitar for $5. Uh, an extra screw in my junk drawer and some thorough cleaning, new set of strings. It'll cost me about 15 bucks to fix this up. I got it for five, that's $20 into it. I can sell it for $100. Easy. I can tune it up, string it up. I just gotta have the time to do it. It's even got the sticker on it. I mean, it's got, it's got some nicks, but why not? Like, it's a great little pickup. Well, the next garage sale I went to next to them didn't have anything super cool. Just kind of junk. I think that's where I got this VHS tape. And then I felt bad because I talked to a lady for like 10 minutes. So I had to buy something. Then I went next door and I asked the lady about video games. She's like, well, I have some in the garage or in the attic. And her husband was kind of like, you know, I don't want you going up there and getting those. And I was like, I'll do it. Well, he didn't like that idea either, and so I gave her my number, and she said she'd call me. Whether she calls me, I don't know. She said she had a bunch of NES and SNES games, and I thought, like, ooh, that's good. But the last thing I'm going to show you today is this. And like I said, I know a lot about guitars, but I don't know anything about acoustic guitars, other than it's a Fender. She wanted 15 bucks for it. Um, I looked up Fender Squire Acoustic. $200. Doesn't have any strings. She gave me a stand with it, too. So um, this needs a little cleanup, and I think I'm going to take it to Guitar Center and have them string it, because I've never strung an acoustic guitar. I don't care for stringing acoustic guitars. I don't know. I Probably not very hard, but it's in really good condition. It's really... It, I'm not going to lie. It's beautiful. It's got that uh, like gloss lacquer on the wood. So um, five minutes with uh, some Goo Gone and some Windex and some guitar fretboard uh, guitar honey. And uh, take that mofo to Guitar Center and have them string it up for me. It costs probably five or ten bucks. Yeah, it's great. It's a great little pickup. So yeah, that's really it. Um, don't know what's going on with you guys and your world, but I hope you're having a wonderful day. And just remember, yes, I try, I fail. You try, you fail. But eventually, it's going to get better. And if it doesn't, well, you're gonna die someday. So from everyone here in Dallas, Texas, and Dallas flipping, we hope you have a wonderful Saturday and a great rest of your week. And I can't wait to see you again. So, uh, 
go to my eBay store, uh, buy something. Darren, if you're still watching this, l let me know and I'll hook you up with some newspaper. Um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day and uh, don't let other people's negativity or idiot idiocracy, idi idioti idioticy ruin your day. So, later.